Welcome to Corvallis, Oregon, Reeser Stadium, home to the Beavers, and you better get used to the sound of chainsaws as the fans here have been ready for this clash since early this morning. The Beavers will put total leather and will get started. Fair catch called for and made. So the Virginia Cavaliers offense will start this game off. And there's a man who believes he is always open. He carries that swag and that aura of a big-time playmaker, guys. He's got to catch the football. If you're the quarterback coming into this one, you are looking for this guy early, and, David, you're looking for him often. And this offense better find ways to feature him. Find him, like you said, Jesse, early, often, deep, shallow. Get this man the football. They go to the ground. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal. Hold, 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 hold. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. The give to the left side. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. The Cavaliers send out the punt unit. Gets the first one of the day out of there. He ought to be fresh. They only used him twice in that victory last week. Wide open, and it's a foot race. Really nice job all the way around. Got a few blocks, made a couple of moves, and a good return on that one before he's pushed out of bounds. So Oregon State's offense will try to get something started with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of... And the ball is out. Who's going to get it? Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. Man, he coughed it up. God, big mistake. But here's the thing. I'm going to run my quarterback. i got to pick my spots, but he's got to understand when I can take hits, when I get in traffic, and i got to wrap that thing up. Just plowing down the field. Brought down at the 47-yard line after the 15-yard pickup. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. They'll ride the hot hand. Just having these dudes bounce off of him like popcorn. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Give to the running back. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Right back to the well. Works his way ahead for about three yards. Stopped at the 23. Headed to the line at the 23, trying to convert this third and short. They'll stick to the ground, looking for the marker. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. Smashes through. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Cavaliers. The AT unit on the field. And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst, and he showed all of those attributes right there. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Oregon State has it back, and here comes the Beaver offense. That last fumble proved to be costly as they cashed it in for a touchdown. Yeah, so this defense now is juiced. They're excited and ready to go. So this offense, David, they've got to get something going. Yeah, those turnovers can be contagious, man. It gets you excited, and then when your offense takes it down the field and does something with it, this offense better be ready to play against a motivated defense. Got the first down and more. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. And now on first down after converting with the run. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. 
Johnson wants to throw it. Makes the catch along the sidelines and steps out of bounds. I'll tell you, for this defense, they're going to have to find a way to bracket this slot receiver because of how athletic he is. They're going to need to make sure they've got linebackers and DBs surrounding this guy at all times. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the Beavers will bring the punt team onto the field. Gets his first one of the day off. He was called on four times in last week's win. Looking for a block. It's Harrison. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. Virginia has it back. The Cavalier offense headed to the field. Going to the ground. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Give to Brown. Nice move to pick up yardage. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll try the left side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Here's the handoff. Ran through the contact. Tripped up for the tackle. These are the ones in the stands where you should get bored if it doesn't work. How would you run the ball in second and long? You stink, O.C., or you get the big applause and you're like, yes, nice job. Keeping the manageable third down situation. Good call. So tough spot to be in in second and long. Nice answer. Nice run by the running back. And the Cavaliers are on the move. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Sixth play of the drive coming up. The give to the back. At the 35, he's loose. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. The Cavaliers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They're looking for an advantage to the right. Knocked down after a gain of one to the 27. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Running back searching for a hole. He's just outside the 20-yard line, stopped at the 21 after a pickup of six. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21 with this third and short. They're still thinking touchdown. They'll try to get the first through the air. Throws to the tight end. And that pass is intercepted. Didn't get a ton on the return, but they've got it inside the 20 at the 19-yard line. They'll snap it with a minute to play here in the opening stanza. Wide receiver shows motion. From the gun, running back gets the give. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He'll try to pop the draw. Runs through a tackle. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. You got to think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. Fires to the big fella. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Here's a quick throw out to the left. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. First and 10. They'll try the run. And after the stop, that is going to put a bow on this first quarter. Let's see what they've got on second down. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Virginia has the lead here. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. Johnson looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. The back goes in motion. Shotgun snap on third down. Snags it over the middle. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up and they'll move the chains with the first down. A new set of downs after the completion. Oh, 
from the shotgun now. Here's an inside get. Trying to pound their way forward. He picks up a couple to the 31. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Trying play action. Fires to the tight end. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. The Beavers have taken it inside the 20. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. He caught it, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Beavers! One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. Virginia sending its offense back onto the field. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions. But I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did in the first part of that drive, what made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it. Move on. Play the next play. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. Now on third down for this offense. They'll try to bully their way for the first. And they make the stop just short of the line to gain inches to go. It'll be fourth down. They're in their own territory, but they only need a few inches. And this is why you have a prominent jawline and an urgent resolve. They'll go for it. And fourth and inches for me is a green light anywhere on the field. I'm going to run the football. I'm going to be physical. I'm going to go to my play. I know I can get it. I like the play call on fourth and inches to go for it. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. He now has 84 yards on the ground, and that's just another routine day for this guy who's been among the nation's leaders in rushing all season long. Brown has it. And the Cavaliers get enough to move the chains. Well, this defense is on its heels right now, especially trying to stop the run. They're just not being physical enough. They give up another run right there for a first down. Someone's going to have to step up and make a play. And look, this guy has some serious moves, and he tried all of them and still didn't get loose. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. Well, it's a really nice job of the offense mixing it up on this drive. We've seen some nice plays throwing it. And how about that one running it, too? Great push up front. They're trying to send a message with this running game. He stopped after a pickup of four to the 33. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Running with power. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. And this offense is clicking, everything's moving, and the guy carrying the football, I mean, he is carrying the rock. Like, this is a guy that's he's setting this tone for this game, creating some balance on this offense. This offense is going to be a handful. Yeah, David, I'd love to sit here and say, well, the offensive coordinator is just one step ahead of his counterpart across the field. That's not it. Right now, it's offensive line. Got some room, headed to the goal line. They'll finally get him stopped at the one-yard line. What a run there. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first thing. He'll wedge it in there on the quarterback sneak. Wedges, pushes, and he's over and in for the touchdown. I love it. Forget all the cute stuff. It's first and goal. I'm trying to get six. Nice job. Just get the quarterback under center. Let us push him into the end zone and get the touchdown. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. 
Oregon State takes over, ready to send the offense onto the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you've played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. He's going to pass. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. You know, it can be tough to throw slant routes, especially in the zone coverage. The timing has got to be so precise and perfect to try to fit it in that window, and they weren't able to do it on that one. He's got him this time. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. He'll just keep slinging it. Finds his tight end. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. Johnson wants to throw it. They're bringing heat. Trying to get rid of it. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass and it never had a chance. Really need positive yards on second down after the incompletion. They'll snap it from the 44. He's looking to throw. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Power football with the run. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Beavers will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll aim it toward the sideline to try to make it tough on the return team. Virginia has it back. The Cavalier offense headed to the field. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, <laughs> all kinds of running room. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Big play to start this drive. Now they'll snap it from the 39. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. The give to the tailback. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. The Cavaliers are in the hurry up. He'll throw on third down. Got the back over the middle. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Shotgun fundamentals are so key. He was like a shortstop. Caught the shotgun snap and right away rifled it out of his hands like he was turning two. Fires a bullet. Now it's picked off. He would have loved to make the big return there, but he still gives his team the ball at the 37. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Grabs it in the middle. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. They'll line up for a second down play. Johnson looking to throw. He's right on target. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Looking to move it through the air. It's on target and complete. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Feeling some heat. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And the Beavers will send out the punt unit.
Making sure there's no return on that one as the punt sails out of bounds. They'll have just enough time to get one more snap before the half. Looking to go up top on first down. He's going for the big play. He's got it all right. Boy, he almost finished his half with a bang, and are they lucky to get him stopped? They're, they're eager to head to that dressing room right now. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, you've been calling a lively one from there in Corvallis. And the Cavaliers will boot it away to start the second half. Coming out with it, it's Anderson. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. Oregon State has it back, and here comes the Beaver offense. I imagine we'll see them go right back to work up top after how productive that passing game was in the first half. And it's interesting. If I'm the defense, and I've got the lead, they've had success throwing the football, but we're winning. I don't know that this defense changes too much of what they've done in the first half. I think they got to do a better job with pass rush. They might want to change their coverages as well because they're probably at this point expecting this offense to have to keep throwing, considering they did have success in the first half. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He's looking to throw it. Quarterback now breaking the field. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. Big first down sack for the defense brings up second down. They'll leave it with him. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Gives it to the back on the draw. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Beavers line up to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He'll bring it back. It's Harrison. They'll get him down at the 21-yard line. The coverage team able to stop him right there. Virginia sending its offense back onto the field. They come to the line for the first play of the drive, snapping it from the 21. The give to the lone running back. A nifty little dance step. He's now up to 75 yards rushing, and he's closing in on 1,400 for the season. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Rides to the back. The Cavaliers will keep this drive going. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. The give to the right. Dances away from one. Just a savvy, veteran, productive run from this junior. And the Cavaliers are moving quickly down the field. Give to Brown. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. It's the M.O. of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. A little too anxious along that offensive line. That'll be a false start. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. And here comes the offense on second down. They're looking for an advantage in the running game to the right. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. Line getting set on second down. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. Looking for space to the left. Oh, he makes a catch. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. 
We were trying to catch the defense napping there, sneak the running back out of the backfield, see if the defense's eyes are maybe in the wrong place, but a great job. Everybody staying home and then making a nice move. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. It's caught downfield. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Pass it appears. Pass it appears. Defense. Defense. The big gain on offense, and the play will stand. The offense declines the penalty. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. One back in the backfield. He gets to carry. That's a 20. He's got space. And they make the tackle, but it'll be enough for a first down, and we'll see if they get another playoff here in the third. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Virginia has the lead here. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. A first down run in the red zone. And they're barely able to stop the score. They'll mark it at the one. They've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, and there's certainly still plenty of football to go, but this is where you'd love to control the flow of the game, right? You want to dictate everything to the defense, and you do that by running the football. That was a really nice run. This offensive line is firing off late. Looks like they're getting stronger as the game goes on. Quarterback sneak for the touchdown. They build this fourth quarter lead, and they are just minutes away from going 5-0. You know, this guy's had a big role in this offense this year, especially when they get down close to the end zone. That's his fifth rushing touchdown on the year. He's been a factor for these guys offensively. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Oregon State takes over, ready to send the offense onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. Oh, what a grab by the defense. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. It doesn't get any better for your defense. You know exactly the situation in the fourth quarter. Everything in your favor. Don't let them make big plays. How about you make a big play? Nice job getting the interception. It's not icing on the cake yet, but it's getting pretty close. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. They're down to the 20, first and 10. Might as well give it to him again. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. He'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal line. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. They love to make this short field pay off with a touchdown instead of a field goal, but it's third and goal. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. And if they can make this and turn it into a three-score game, they'll have this one all but locked up. No good. Missed the field goal, but still a two-touchdown lead at 14. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. He's got it. Out to the 35-yard line and a little extra breathing room with that 15-yard pickup. Johnson wants to throw it. Finds his man. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. New set of downs after that completion. He wants to throw. Nice move to keep running. Running through contact. Oh, look out, there he goes. And he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown, Oregon State. 
and still a ways to go. But great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now, we got a one possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stop? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Virginia has it back. The Cavalier offense headed to the field. Guys, you want to be productive here and not go into a shell, but you've got to take care of the ball. Yeah, and I think you say productive. He's productive at this point. Nothing but green ahead. He's at the 30. And they get him out of bounds after an explosive run, just chewing up yardage along the way. That last big play has them in business. Just outside the red zone, it's first and 10. Quarterback will audible. To the air on first down. Quickly out to the tight end. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. The Cavaliers are threatening in the red zone. Smart move to keep it on the ground. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. It's really important at this point of the game late that they at least get a field goal here to make this a two-possession game. So they're staying conservative. They're running the football, keeping it on the ground to execute that idea. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. They'll keep the offense on the field on fourth down already with a one-possession lead. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Linebacker shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. I'd expect we're going to get another dose of the running game at this point, even though it's second and 11. We're at the midway point of the season, and after the showing they delivered today, this team is firing on all cylinders through Week 7. We've been talking a lot about this team, but you want to be remembered in the month of November. The most important part in the meat of this schedule now is coming up. If you play well throughout the second half of the year, we're talking college football playoff potentially. Yeah, and, but you got to start somewhere, right? And I, and I like that they started strong, made it to week seven now. Yes, the, the rivalries are coming up and, and more important games are coming up. But you did what you needed to do to start the season. Now just keep that mindset and keep grinding. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.